Your singing's pretty bad, Clumsy, and you play the guitar even worse. Because I need practice. When I practice a bit more, you'll see how good I am. I'm sure of it, Clumsy. You can achieve anything if you're interested and you keep trying. But practice the guitar when we're not here, okay? Okay, Mitriani, but one day I'll surprise you. You'll see. Excuse me for interrupting, but why don't we stop wasting time and get on with the story, Mitriani? A very good idea. Today we have a very beautiful story of fantasy and romance, which I'm sure you're going to enjoy. Good, so tell us the story, otherwise Clumsy will start singing again. Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay, right away. It all began on a beautiful moonlit evening, the kind when lovers like to walk together. How romantic! Who hey, shut up! Why are you so serious, ugly? Is that how you thank me for coming to spend some time with you? Don't you like spending time with me? That's not it. Yes, I know. You always worry too much about everything. Just enjoy this nice evening. Look at the moon. I can see it. It's very beautiful, reflected in the water, almost like you. Thank you very much, Ugly. You know, some people say the moon shines because lovers are happy. I'm very happy with you, Patty, but I can't help thinking that tomorrow you'll be gone, and I'll be left here all alone. And that makes me very sad. I want you to stay here with me forever. One day I'll be able to stay ugly, and then we'll be together all the time. But meanwhile, let's just make the most of these moments that we have together. And don't be so sad, okay? Just look at the moon. Isn't it pretty? Do you really think that we will be together forever one day, Patty? Of course we will, ugly. Don't you doubt it for a moment. And then we can come and look at the moon every night. Is that you, Lisa? Just behind you, Farewell. Oh, Lisa, you took a long time. I was very worried about you. Good things are worth waiting for, huh? Well, in your case, my dear, that's true. I'm going to sing you a little song. I like people, I like to dance, I like to smile. Because life is only four days long, and one must make the most of the Why are there so many lovers out there tonight? It's disgraceful. The high ticket has something to do with the moon. It affects them and makes them go soft in the head. It makes them talk very strangely as well. Why don't we switch the moon off? Switch it off? But how? With magic, of course. I'm sure there's a way to switch it off. So what are you going to do? Take the batteries out? Do you know the fairy of the lake? Not personally, but I do know who she is. She's called Celine, and she likes to comb her hair in the moonlight and pick flowers to make necklaces and other silly things. Well, the moon depends on her happiness. What do you mean, Mephisto? That when the fairy feels unhappy, the moon loses all its brightness. But fairies are always happy. Exactly, and that's where we come in. We have to try to get Celine to feel unhappy and depressed. That doesn't sound too easy. How are you going to do that? We get someone to break her heart. Ah, well, I just happen to know the right guy for the job. Ah, yes. We'll bring him here immediately. What are we waiting for? Othello! Come here and bring Lear with you. Othello, Lear, we have a little mission for you. Consider it done. What is the mission, your satanic majesty? Well, you've got to get a fairy to fall in love. Ooh, Ooh a fairy. fairy. Meanwhile, in the farm, things were pretty much as normal. Look at the time! Cock-a-doodle-doo! And in a 
hidden corner of the forest, two fiendish little imps appeared to carry out their mission. What an unpleasant spot. There's nobody here to annoy. You're right. We'd better find that fairy fast and finish our mission. Then we can go somewhere more amusing. A big city, for example. Look, boss. <laughs> what ugly beasties. Where on earth did they come they from? They're pretty ugly, but they might still be tasty. They might have been sent by the devil. We'll see about that. How? You wait here. I'll catch them. As long as they don't catch you first, boss. <laughs> What a style the boss has hunting. He's like a Bengal tiger. Well, almost. Well, perhaps there are some people here to annoy after all. After that incident, the two imps went off to find Celine the fairy. And it didn't take long to find her. Excuse my interruption, beautiful lady, but seeing you there, I had an irresistible urge to give you some flowers. You are the most beautiful fairy I have ever seen. Really exquisite, you know? Oh, an imp. Ooh, she's beautiful. Yes, indeed, I am an imp. I don't deny it, but an imp in love. She's playing hard to get, like all women, but I'm sure this is in the bag. Wow, what a face, golly. And at that moment, two who we know very well were just passing by. Look, that duck's wearing a wig just like yours. Let's go and have a little fun with him. Oh, what shall we do? Scorch him a bit? Torture him? Eat him? No, nothing so drastic. Let's start with something simple, like tripping him over. Ah! Uh, so who's the funny guy? Ah! Look! Ah! <laughs> what are you laughing about? Hey, look, at me, look, look back there, look! Uh, look behind you, Apollo! Look! Ah, there's no one there. Yeah, they keep hiding every time you look. They're very ugly. Look, look! Hmm. Be careful, Apollo! Ah, if they hide from me, it's because they're frightened of me. Quite right, too. He might be dangerous. <laughs> well, that was fun. Now let's get to work. That night, the imps put their plan to catch Celine into action. <laughs> Don't be afraid, beautiful maiden. Allow me to comb your hair, which is almost as fine as mine is. Oh, well, what's your name? My name is Othello, my pretty one. Dinner's ready, and it's delicious! It's delicious! Delicious! Can you explain what it is? There was nothing in the pantry! Nettle soup, boss! Try some! Nettle soup? What an idea! I'm not eating that slop! Nettles or weeds which grow in the field! But they're very nutritious and easy to find! Yes, but they're just greens! I keep telling you, I don't want greens! Get that filth out of my sight! But, boss, this soup is very good! Stop arguing! You don't throw it out, then I will. Stand back. I thought you said you didn't like it. <laughs> He's eating a lot. <laughs> and you're gonna eat this. No, boss, not the pot. It's copper and I can't digest it. Okay, boys, what's going on? Those two are pretending mm. to be dumb. Give them some time. Time? Time? When I give an order, it has to be obeyed immediately. Clear? Is that clear? Huh? But I nearly succeeded, Majesty. Hmm? Nearly isn't good enough. I want you to break her heart immediately. Is that clear? Ah. 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 Ah.
If you haven't completed your mission by this evening, I'll punish you severely. I'll change you into mortals. Oh, oh no, no mortals. not mortals, your majesty, not mortals, not mortals. Your majesty. And you as well for recommending these two idiots. What? Did you hear you two creatures? Go to work. I want results right now. <laughs> Let's hope this matter settled quickly. Don't worry. The moon will stop shining. And then there won't be any more lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in our friend's region, Horrendous and Slicky went out to hunt. <laughs> There's a noise over there. It must be some animal hiding in the bushes, eh, Buzz? I hope it's a rabbit, or maybe a partridge. A oh, rabbit? Where? Where? Ouch! Ouch! Oh, right oh, there! Oh, 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 right. Don't be like that, Buzz. We'll creep up stealthily and catch it. Well, I just caught a headache, I can tell you. <laughs> There's nobody here, Buzz. It must have hidden. Uh, hey, boss! Hey, boss! Now where have you gotta go? Ah, here's the rabbit! My little long tail, huh? What? Is that you, boss? What a fright! Where did you go? What does it matter to you? I can do what I want! Well, I've just met a horrific monster! Like this? Like what, boss? Ah! So I'm a horrific monster, am I? Have you looked in a mirror recently? Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ah! That's for saying I was ugly. And this is the moment in the story when Nico and Ugly arrive on the scene. They went for a walk near the lake. And there they had an unexpected meeting. Look how clear the water is. Yes, it's very transparent. I feel like going for a swim. Yes, you're right. So do I, Ugly. Huh? You heard that, didn't you? What was it? Have you seen how she's flying? I think she's drunk. Don't be silly, Nico. How could a fairy be drunk? Maybe she's in love. In love? Who's she in love with? Oh. Were you thinking about me? Of course I'm thinking about you, Celine. Actually, I was thinking about my hairdresser. Hmm. The poor thing only has eyes for Othello. Doesn't she realize? There, that's good. It's full of cranberries. I can make some excellent brandy with this. And the nice and ripe, too. I'll pick a few to take home. <laughs> Now, who's the funny guy throwing things at people? I'm going to have a word with him. Well, maybe more than a word, perhaps a serious argument. Poor thing, poor little fairy. Uh, can I be in love? Hmm. Hmm. Here, catch this, you little scallywag. Oink, uh. Uh. Just wait till I catch you with that. That's odd. The stones seem to come from here. And do you know what happened that night? What, Vigiani? As the fairy was in love, the moon shone brighter than ever. It was like a fire. Oh. What's the matter with that moon? I can't sleep with all this light in my eyes. It's almost as bright as day. It must be some atmospheric effect caused by pollution. Well, it's an ill wind. In this light, I can carry on sowing corn in the field. When are we going to sleep? If this goes on, we'll end up exhausted. This is all very odd. It reminds me of an old legend about where the moonlight comes from. A, a legend? legend? What, what legend? kind of legend? A legend which says that the moonlight depends on the happiness of a fairy called Celine. What a load of nonsense. How could a fairy control the moonlight? Maybe she's got a remote control unit, like the moon with a television. <laughs> no, it's just that the happier the fairy is, the brighter the moon. What a delightful story, Professor Pythagoras. Yes, it's charming, but how are we going to sleep? Perhaps the fairy could feel a bit sad from time to time. Don't say that, Caddy. You shouldn't wish for anyone to be unhappy. Now let's close the blinds and the problem solved, you see? Mario's right. Now let's sleep, okay? But hey, I can't sleep with the window well, shut. you'll have to get used to it, Bravo. I propose we all go to sleep. And then we can discuss it again tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. 
Can you guess what was happening in the forest just then? No! Well, Celine was going to have a bitter disappointment. Let's sit down for a rest before that dreadful boar comes back. She's getting much too sentimental. Yes, but she's in love with you. Well, of course, that's what they wanted, isn't it? Her to fall for me? Now it's done! Oh! I'll be glad when this mission's over. That silly fairy is such a sissy, it's unbelievable and stupid. She still hasn't noticed how fine my hair is. You're really despicable, Othello. An evil, perverse creature. Thanks very much, Lear. I'm glad to know you recognize my strong point, at least. Not at all. You have a stone for a heart. The moon's going dark. Mission accomplished. I expect she heard us, the poor thing. Of course, that's why I wanted to sit here. This is one of the places where she likes to comb her hair. You're an evil-minded fiend, Othello. Yes, well, enough compliments. Let's go home now. <sighs> Your satanic majesties, the mission has been a success. From now on, the moon will shine no more. <laughs> Excellent, perfect, good work. Uh, by the way, where's your friend Leo? He stayed behind, I don't know why. Hmm. I, 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 I. Ah, you stupid <laughs> fools! Ah, I'm afraid he may be seriously ill. Ill? Leo? How can an imp ever be ill? Um, with the worst of all illnesses. A terrible, frightening illness which can even affect devils like ourselves. Don't tell me anymore, I know just what you mean. Uh, a cold, hmm, mm, how awful. No, not a cold, I'm talking about love. Love? Imps can fall in love? It doesn't often happen, but yes, curse it all. Hmm? Huh? Your satanic majesty. Hello, Lair. What are you doing wandering around these parts? Why don't you come home? Uh, I... Don't you want to see the forest all full of flowers and other ridiculous things, Leah? Huh? Well... Uh... Well, what? Why don't you come home with Othello? Yes, why? I, uh... Can't you answer a simple question, Lear? Do you know what the punishment is for imps who fall in love? Uh, no. Don't worry, I'll tell you. You'll lose all your powers and you become a simple mortal. No, 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 please, please, not oh, that. Yes. <laughs> and now we'll see if you can stand up to the fierce animals. And what you'll do when you start to feel hungry like those pathetic mortals. Right, when you get old and shaky and you lose your strength and your legs don't hold you up anymore. <laughs> and when finally you die. Say goodbye to immortality, Leah. You're not going to like it. Oh! <laughs> oh, I do feel sort of strange. <gasps> Meanwhile, the farm animals looked in amazement at the moon's new appearance. Crumbs, what a peculiar night. What's happening to the moon this time? Everything's so dark, boys. Stay close to me or you'll get lost. Yes, yes mommy, mommy, we'll, we'll stay, stay here. here. Yes, yes, yes. It's not going to be easy to keep watch in this darkness. Oh, the weasels could come under the cover of darkness and steal my little ones without us knowing. Weasels, weasels, weasels help! <laughs> Calm down, everybody. No need for alarm. It's not that serious. We've got out of worse situations than this, and we'll get out of this one, believe me. Oh, yes? So tell me how ugly. He's only trying to show Ugly's up. Ugly's right. It's not really serious. After all, most of us sleep at night anyway. It's true. It's always dark at nighttime. But I'm worried about something else, to tell you the truth. You mean we've got more problems? What is it, Morgan? Maybe yes. Earlier on, the moon was shining almost like the sun, and now it's not shining. What if the sun does the same tomorrow? Oh, oh, oh. We can't live at all without sunlight. I, oh. I know I well, It's true, if there's no sun, our plants won't grow. We'll have no cereals, no fruit, no greens, no vegetables, no potatoes, no onions, no corn. Oh, that's awful. We'll all die of starvation. Well, that is correct. And our skin needs the sun to produce important vitamins. If we don't have any more sun, we'll end up as pale as vampires. Oh, come on. Don't get carried away. We don't know whether we're going to lose the sun or not. All we know at the moment is that there's less moon. What's going to become of us? Now we have to live in eternal darkness. Just keep calm and look on the bright side. At least we're not going to get sunburned, are we, Caddy? Mommy, mommy. Ribbit. Ah, monster. monster. Oh, quiet, boys. It's only a toad. In these shadows, everything looks strange and frightening. You're right, but what if it was some nighttime prowling beast or something? Well, in that case, we would have driven them off. Because that's what guard dogs are for. Hmm, talk? Yes, provided we can see it, of course, but there's no light out here at all. Why, in all of you! Now what's the matter? She's historical. I, I mean, hysterical. Instead of talking rubbish, why don't we organize ourselves so we can live in the darkness? Don't you oh. agree? Katie's right. I'm going to the workshop to make some lanterns. Mariano, you come with me. 
Me? Where do you want me to go? What is my little clue they want now? I said go back to And what can we do? Huh? We'll go to the lake and look for the fairy. But Ugly, you don't believe that silly tale about the moonlight depending on a fairy's state of mind. Well, it's probably just a fairy tale, but we've got nothing to lose if we check it out. But the path to the lake must be darker than a black cat in a coal cellar. Come on, Nico. Don't be a coward. We can't just stand here, fold our arms, and do nothing. Oh, what sort of mess are we getting into this time? Meanwhile, in the Devil's Residence... Ah, mm. I don't like the look of this. Why, well, Mephisto? What if those two upset our plans? Those two kids, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. This mortal business is a real drag. <laughs> oh, it's a leaf. Don't cry anymore, Celine. Huh? How ugly! Huh? Oh, oh. Hmm. This time I'm sure we'll catch something slicky with this special potion. If you like, we can use my lucky horseshoe. Eh, no chance. It brings me bad luck. Now stand back. Ah! Is your trip over, Because Mom? of you, I nearly smashed my potion, clumsy doctor! All right, but don't hit me! What's the potion for anyway, Bluff? It's to make the moon shine again, and then we'll be able to see. Oh, uh, yes, how? Very easy. First, I put it in the rocket. Ooh! And then I launched the rocket at the moon. Oh! Oh! oh. Did you hear that? I'm scared. I bet it was a spirit. Nico, don't be such a coward. It's only Owl. The only spirit we'll find around here is the Moon Fairy, and we're not going home until we find her. But Ugly, that's just a legend. I'm sure the fairy doesn't exist. Of course she exists, and she's beautiful as well. Huh? Who said that? Who's there? Oh. Uh, me. Ah! What a shock! It's a devil! Be quiet, Nico. He hasn't done anything yet. Who are you and what do you want? I'm looking for the fairy, like you. Ah, uh, yes. Why are you looking for her? Uh, because she's so beautiful, so fragile, and so innocent that I fell in love with her, hopelessly in love, just like that. What? what? Tick, we have to guard the farm extra carefully in all this dark. Don't worry, nothing's oh, going yeah? to happen. Oh, yeah? Who says so? It's in my horoscope. I just read it. Those horoscopes are for people with no brain. That's not true. Today it says that I can get whatever I want. Oh, yeah? See if you can make me taller then. That's not difficult. Meow! Oh, uh -huh, there. You see, you're 10 centimeters taller. And Lear was telling Nico and Ugly the whole story. And that's how Othello broke Celine's heart, and the moon stopped shining, you see. Maybe forever. What an evil plan. It's really diabolical. Exactly. Diabolical is the word. We're devils, after all. It was their satanic majesty's idea. But according to what you just said, you're a devil as well. No, not anymore. They changed me into mortal as punishment for falling in love. But my love is in vain. I'm so ugly. I'll never be able to attract Celine. Don't despair. I'm very ugly as well. But a lovely duck fell in love with me. It's a pity if she liked you, she would be happy. And then the moon would be able to shine again. Of course, Nico. That's the perfect solution. We'll help him to win Celine's heart. Oh, uh, yeah? How are we going to do that? Will you really help me to win her heart? Of course we will, won't we, Nico? What? Yes, of course. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun, boss. We look like glow worms. You look more like a broken traffic light. Now stop you <laughs> A moment, boss. A moment. Keep still. Keep still? Why? Oh, that's why, boss. <laughs> I did it, I did it. How dare you treat me like that? I'm the boss. 
It wasn't you. It was the bee. It wanted to sting you. Ah, no! Let it go! Let it go! Hey, now it stung me! What a bad-tempered bee! And now its friends are coming! Let's go! Well, before anything else, have a bath. Good idea. You smell like burnt sulfur, and it's awful. A bath? But isn't that bad for you? You want this fairy to fall in love with you? Mm -hmm. Then take a bath! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Here, this is your soap. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 mm. It's not for eating, it's for washing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit tasteless, but indigestible. <laughs> Look at those mortals humiliating Lear. Yeah, yeah, you said it. You think he'll have to brush his teeth? <laughs> I bet he will. And then he'll stop trying to pick his nose in public. How oh, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he can wash as much as he wants. He's still yeah, ugly. Yeah, yeah, he's hideous. More than hideous, petrifying. Uh, more than petrifying, he's ghastly. He's uglier than the backside of a mandrel with a skin disease. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants that fairy to fall in love with him? He'll scare her to death. Yes, there's nothing for us to worry about. No, of course there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the farm, everybody was preparing to face the eternal dark. La, 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 Hello, Morgan. Hello, Mario. What brings you here? I'm escaping from home for a while. Caddy's just unbearable. And what are you doing working here in the dark? Well, I'm manufacturing candlesticks for the candles. If things carry on like this, we're going to need them. I must say, working without light isn't very easy. Oh! Morgan, are you okay? Have you hurt yourself? See what I mean, Mario? I can't work in this light. I keep tripping over things. <laughs> Them, boss. Oh, the water got rid of it for us. Perfect. It was great fun being all shiny. Fun? How can you be such a cretin? Eh, careful. Now what's the matter? Have you got a headache or what? No, we've got company, boss. Company? There's ah! Celine. <sighs> so go on, go and speak to her. She won't want anything to do with me. I'm so ugly. Maybe yes, maybe no. But if we don't try, you'll never know. I really don't know what to say. I'm very shy with girls. I'll go behind those bushes and signal what you have to say. Hmm, I don't know if that'll work. Come on, stop hesitating and get on with it. Let's go. <laughs> don't cry anymore, beautiful Celine. Now you tell her, Lear. Uh, don't cry anymore, beautiful Celine. Who are you? And how do you know my name? Such a beautiful fairy shouldn't cry. Such a beautiful fairy shouldn't cry. Such a beautiful fairy shouldn't cry. I cry because I'm very sad. What can I do to comfort you? What can I do to comfort you? There's no one who can comfort me. Don't say that. However great your pain is, you should try to overcome it. You can't spend your whole life crying. Somebody I loved broke my heart. Oh, then he didn't deserve your love. And who are you? I've seen you before, haven't I? Yes, but you ran away. It's normal. I'm so ugly. No, you're funny. It's just that you took me by surprise and I was frightened. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> mm. It doesn't matter. I'm so glad I made you laugh. Well, it was very funny. Want me to do it again? <laughs> 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 Look at that silly fool and his silly tricks. This is better huh? than watching cartoons. <laughs> What's he gonna do next? Pat <laughs> 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 Lear is as dumb as he is ugly, and that's saying something. Yes, it's pathetic. Now he's trying to win the heart of the fairy who fell in love with Othello. Did somebody mention my name? Hmm. 
Well, yes, we were admiring the antics of your companion, Lear, down on Earth. And we see that he's trying to win the heart of your fairy. Isn't that too much? <laughs> he's not going to have much success with that hair of his. His face isn't exactly a work of art. But seriously, what if it works out for him? Hey, yeah. Impossible. He'll never get her to forget me. Hey, do you really think? No, eh? not really. I was just talking. Eh, just talking, eh? We'll have to take a look at oh. this. Ooh. So then Mephisto tried to creep away on tiptoe, but then he fell over. Huh? Ah. Ah. Curses! <laughs> ah. 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 So, she'll never forget you, huh, Adela? Yes, well, I... I hold what? you directly responsible. But the moon is still in the dark. That's good, isn't it? Yes, you better hope it stays that way. Meanwhile, in the farm, they had doubled the guard for security reasons, but... Tick, it's your turn. Now you go outside. It's like the North Pole out there. <laughs> Didn't you hear me? Oh, that's the way to wake me up. You're supposed to be watching the monitors, not sleeping like some dormouse. I wasn't sleeping, I was resting. And if the weasels come while you're resting, what then? Now, in we go. But what about the guard dogs, boss? No problem, they're busy arguing about something. Can but you first, hear? What if they come? They're not gonna come. Well, we should have an escape plan ready in case they do. It is all ready. Look at this beautiful plan. Ah, what a Pretty thug. smart, eh? And it's completely automatic. It goes so fast you can't see it. And this button, boss? Uh, 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 don't touch it! Uh, uh, I told you! Oh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh. Hey, boss, what a good rhythm. Oh. Everybody want to oh. dance. Oh. <laughs> So, oh, then a fellow went to pay his respects, and he took a step forward like this, and... He tripped up and fell on the devil. <laughs> you enjoy listening to my devil jokes, don't you, Celine? You used to be one, didn't you? Yes, that's right. You were a... a devil? Yes, that's what I said, a real devil. But now you're human, how can that be? It's a very long story, you know. Well, I've got all the time in the world. You can tell me if you'd like. You see, I came to the forest with a fellow, the one you already met, but I committed a crime which cannot be excused. I fell in love. <laughs> and as punishment, they took away all my powers. That's why I'm just a simple human now. And on top of that, as ugly as sin. Oh. Who did you fall in love with? With you, Celine. You're the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. Don't worry, your satanic majesties. I'm sure that fairy can't fall in love with him. Mm, I hope not for mm -hmm. your sake, because when my plans mm. go wrong, I get furious. Uh, relax, Mephisto. What the hell's right? It's nothing serious. You keep out of this. Anyway, this plan was all your idea. If anything goes wrong because of that cretin, I'll have your skin. Just wait and see. Huh? But there's really no problem, Majesty. The fairy doesn't really ah. love him. I know what women are like. Trust me. <laughs> But even if they do fall in love, the plan will still work. Ah, uh, yes? How the devil can it work? Because Lear's immortal now, and Celine is immortal. Yes, and? In a few years' time, Lear will die. And the fairy will be unhappy again. So it's just a matter of time. By the way, what about my reward? You just wait a while. I haven't decided what reward to give you. Or maybe I'll just punish you instead. Huh? And on the farm, things weren't going well at all. There was still no light. It's gone out! And now there's no petrol! Mommy, I'm scared! Don't get upset. Talk's gone to fetch some wood, so we'll make a fire and that will give us some light. Bad news, friends. This is the last bundle of wood that we had left. The night's too dark to go wandering off looking for wood, and it's getting colder and colder. Oh? Crumbs, that's all we need, a wolf. Well, the fairy seemed quite happy. Yes, it's true. I don't understand. Maybe something happened to Lear. Or maybe this is all just a fairy tale. Well, Celine, now I'd better be on my way. <laughs> Hello, Lear. How's it going? Hello, friends. I was looking for you, in fact. I want to say goodbye before what? I go. What? Go? But where exactly are you going, Lear? 
I'm going away from here, so Celine never sees me get old and die. I don't want her to have to see that. Hmm. There you are. We won't even have to wait for him to get old. Yeah, he's done all the work himself, the stupid fool. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget it was me who broke her heart first. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that our plan has worked. Now about your reward, Othello. Wait, Lear, there's another way. I want to live with you and get old with you and even die with you, too. I'll give all my powers back to the moon and I'll be immortal like you. Uh, no, I don't want you to grow old, Celine. There's no point in protesting, darling. I've already decided. <gasps> Celine, my love. Now I'm immortal. We can be together. <laughs> We'll have to go and live with the humans. With you by my side, it doesn't matter. Oh, Lear, I love you so much. Oh, well, look at that. Now they're kissing. What a disgrace. You're right after all, Mephisto. Our plan failed totally. Remember, I warned you what would happen if the plan failed. You'll all pay for it. Well, now the time has come. No, huh? no, no. Don't take it like that. It wasn't my fault. Oh, yes, it was. Useless fool. Donkey. <laughs> And you wanted a reward as well, Othello. You'll get one. No, no, don't trouble yourself. It's no trouble. Huh? Huh? It's amazing, the moon's shining brighter than ever. We're safe, safe, too wonderful. Goodbye, ugly. Take care of yourselves, we'll miss you. Many thanks for helping us build the boat and for everything else that you've done for us. Not at all, Lear, it was a pleasure helping you. If you ever need any help from us, don't hesitate to come and ask. We're willing to do anything for you. Happy journey and right soon, okay? Bye! Bye. And that, of course, is the end of the tale. How about that? Really good, Mitriani. That was a super story, especially the fairy. That shows you that love is so strong, it can break down any barrier. <laughs> what silly nonsense? Love breaks all barriers. <laughs> That's a load of sissy nonsense for simple-minded fools. And anyway, fairies don't exist. All right, here we go. Many years ago, in a castle a long way away, a baby was about to be born. A royal baby? Yes, the child of a king. Did you hear the thunder, Majesty? Your child chose a stormy night to be born. Yes, but so what? I know some say it's a bad sign, but that's just a superstition. It's a very bad sign, Majesty. <laughs> Nonsense. My son will be a prince and the most handsome and brave of all. And if it's a girl, she'll be even more beautiful a princess than Snow White. Majesty, Please. she was born on the third clap of thunder. That can mean only one thing. Oh! The prophecy has come true. The princess who was born on the third clap of thunder will be a monster and will destroy her parents and the kingdom. <laughs> Poor king. Ugliness is simply inexcusable in a royal child. What a disgrace. How could I have had such an ugly child? I'll be a laughingstock. I suppose she could be a jester like me. Blah. No, the best thing would be to abandon her in the forest and forget all about her as if she never existed. So that very night, the jester made his way into the forest to carry out his sinister mission. Sorry about this, young lady. It wasn't my idea. This looks like a good spot. Goodbye, little one. Maybe the woodcutter will find you or something like that. I'm sorry. Goodbye. I smell a fresh baby over there. Yes, but isn't she ugly? Oh well, I must say I'm a bit hungry. Well, I never. What have we got here, a baby? Where are your parents, cutie pie? Have they abandoned you? I suppose that means I have to bring you up. And the years went by, and the ugly princess grew up. 
but she was still pretty ugly, of course. The witch brought her up and educated her like her own child and taught her all the magic arts. She only forbade one thing. She should never leave the forest. Oh, look. I never saw this path before. I wonder where it goes. People on horseback. The king can let me pass instead. The path belongs to everybody. How dare you? Oh, Majesty. Take that girl prisoner. She's so ugly, she frightened the horses. Ah! Oh, how horrible. She's a witch. Strike her down right now. What? No, oh, no! Oh. Careful, my girl! Stand aside! Oh. Huh? told you never to leave the forest. That's the way they treat witches. Mother, mother. Take her, soldiers, for being a witch and for being ugly. Are you the king? You were arrogant, mean, and cruel. You deserve a good punishment, and you're going to get one. Adule, hey, I'm here. Princess tried to cure her injured mother, but it was too late. Hold on, mother. Soon we'll be home, and then you'll see how I can cure you. No, daughter. Help me lie under this tree. I have to explain something very important. But, mother, if I can get you home... It's too late. You have to know that I'm not your mother. <gasps> I found you in the forest when you were a little baby, wrapped up in expensive clothes. Oh, mother. I think my moment has come. Oh, mother, no. As she knew she was dying, the witch cast a final spell. She changed herself into a seed of the Tree of Wisdom, and whoever ate its fruits would be safe from harm forever. Wow, what a story! Many years later, someone we know well was flying over the enchanted forest when she got caught in a storm. Who was that? Patty. Oh! Oh, it's impossible to fly in this weather. see what was happening on the farm. Now, kids, I've just found out that our friend Patty is going to pay us a visit soon. Oh, really? And how is she going to get here, Professor? Flying, of course. At the moment, she must be more or less over the enchanted forest. But that's very dangerous, Professor. They say there's a very ugly witch who lives there. A witch? You don't believe in those kids' stories, do you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Exactly. You bet. Witches don't exist. Well, my mother tells me not to be such a witch. Silence! Yes, yes they, they do, do exist. They, they do. do! Well, of course! What a bore. Why don't you change the subject and talk about something a lot more interesting, like me, for instance? In former times, women who lived alone and prepared herbal medicines were considered to be witches. And in the Middle Ages, they burned a lot of them on big fires. A pity they don't burn ugly ducks. We could avoid a lot of problems that way. What Ugly says is true. Poor women ended up on the fire because they lived alone and were ugly. Oh, why's that? Oh, for really silly reasons like having a cat at home. Oh, no! Blah, blah. Anyway, that's all for today, kids. Tomorrow we'll have a history class and talk about the Middle Ages. Have a good time till tomorrow. How exciting! Patty's coming back to the farm. I'm going to see her again. Yes, you're right. She's almost here. I'll take a bath. I want to be presentable when she I'll arrives. I'll help you. You've got to fill up the bathtub with buckets. What our friends didn't know was that Patty was now under a spell. But a long way off, in the forest, someone else was just about to discover it. Uh, help! Rescue me! The squirrel heard Patty's cries and sent a message to the farm. From mouth to mouth, one animal to another. So the message crossed all the regions and eventually arrived at the right place. Until at last it arrived with our friends. Hmm. Uh, you have a message to take to the farm. So Fittipaldi took the message and then rapidly went off to look for Ugly and Nico. Until in the end. This is going to be my last bucket. Huh? Look, Ugly, there's a submarine spying on us. That's funny. Hello. Look who the submarine was. Of course. Who else could it be? I've been looking for you. I've heard that Patty is in terrible danger. Someone saw her in the enchanted forest, but it seems that she's the victim of a spell and she can't get away. Oh, something always goes wrong. Where is this enchanted forest? And what happened to Patty? I don't well, know never exactly. mind. We'll find out. The most important thing is to rescue her. Yes, but how will we get there? Maybe the best thing will be to use the balloon. And that's what they did. They had the balloon ready to fly in the blink of an eye. But meanwhile, in the weasel's cave... Just see how you like this, boss! Well, I hope so, because I'm so hungry, I'm seeing double! Here you are! Eh? What is this spinach? How revolting! It's got iron in it! If I wanted iron, I'd go and chew on some nails! But spinach is really good food, boss! Come on, eat up! No, no, and no! I'm fed up with all these greens! What do you think I am, a grasshopper? We're gonna hunt something right now! The last day we hunted something was the day Napoleon joined the army! Don't exaggerate, it's not that long since we caught something! Well, it's just a way of speaking, but it's almost true! We'll go out to the forest right now and get some meat for the pot! And don't you mess things up like you normally do, you dimwit! But boss, it's never my fault! You're the one who plans the hunting! What have you got against my hunting plans? They always fail, boss! My plans are pure genius! You're the one who makes them all fail! Your plans are less reliable than the weather forecast. Well, let's hear your hunting plan for a change, then. All right, then. I'll do my own hunting plan. Good. So now you can explain. How are we going to catch something? Well, we'll go out into the forest and we'll hunt. Yes, but how? What are we going to use? We can use Samson, my flea. He's a very good hunter. That's grinding little parasite a hunter? Don't make me laugh. Let me show you. Samson, attack! <laughs> Samson is small but very deadly. <laughs> and now for the second part of the plan. <laughs> See, boss, Samson distracts the victim, then I can hunt them easily. A good plan, isn't it? It's an absolutely idiotic plan. Oh. Ah, until I get my hands on you, you little devil. Careful, don't put Samson in a bad mood. Why does it matter if he's in a bad mood? What can he possibly do to me? Samson has a bad temper. <laughs> you can't say I didn't warn you. Ah! Oh, help! Get them off of me! Get them away! Have you found out where the enchanted forest is? Yes, mm -hmm. I looked it up in the library. Mm -hmm. And what have you found out about Patty? Not much, but it doesn't matter. We'll find out when we get there. I just hope we have enough food. Nico, all you ever think about is eating. Everybody needs a hobby, don't they? Yes, we've got a mountain of food. Ah, 
Look at all that food. Yes, boss, but it's all green. Fruit and vegetables and all the things you don't like. Yes, but I'm quite fond of roast duck. Don't tell me you want to catch Ugly again. This is the perfect moment. He's busy and he's defenseless. A wonderful opportunity. No, boss, you've had hundreds of opportunities, but you always manage to mess them up. I think you have a natural talent for it. Are you trying to insult me, you insolent little weasel? There, take it! Oh! Look, they're climbing on board the balloon. That means they're about to go. It's now or never. Hey, boss, wait for me. Ah! Ah! Help, Slicky! Help me! I'm coming, boss! I'm coming! Give me your hand! <laughs> but I don't want to go traveling! Can you hear voices? No, I can't. Then it must have been the wind. Hey, Nico, is this the right direction? Yes, perfect. As long as the wind doesn't change, we'll get there very soon. This is fun! It's just like a swing, boss! Don't do that! You'll make us fall! Again. It must be birds. Maybe, but they sound familiar. Could they be ghosts? Of course not, Nico. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Boss, we're flying over a river. Yes, I can see that. Why is that important? Well, I'm going to jump. Are you coming with me? What a fool. You think I want to fall down there? Here we go. Oh, that silly fool. You have to be completely cracked to jump off at this height. Uh, ah! The rope must be caught in something. I felt a jerk. It probably caught on a rock on that hill back there. Luckily, that's all it was. The balloon kept going all day long, and at nightfall, they were at the enchanted forest. Eyes wide open. I am, but I can't see any signs of Patty. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Yes, perhaps she managed to get away from whatever was holding her by herself. We'd better make sure, though. Meanwhile, the weasels were still following the trail and arrived in an airplane. This is a better way to travel. No hanging on that crazy balloon. It was all your fault, Slicky. Why don't we do a little sightseeing while we're here, boss? We never have a vacation, do we? That's not such a bad idea. Let's just be tourists for a while, and then we can catch that tedious little duck later. Really, boss? You like my idea? That's great! That's great! That's great! That's really great! That's great! Keep quiet! I said we could be tourists, not clowns, so just shut up! Ah, ah. Boss, don't you know how to relax? Why don't we go and visit some tourist spot? They say there's an enchanted forest around here somewhere. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, driver, are we nearly there? Nah, we're there already. I think he's angry because you didn't give him a tip. So let him be angry. We'll take a different taxi on the way back. By the way, boss, where are we? Duck, quack, quack, ah! Boom, boom. This place is a bit sinister, Ugly. Huh? Wait a moment, Nico. What's up, Ugly? Don't scare me. Did you hear something? Yes, I mean, no. It must be my imagination. Well, I still think we're being watched. Oh, what a gloomy place! <laughs> but there can still be plenty of animals around here to eat. <laughs> Let's get started and go looking for them. Shall I take a photo, boss? No, oh, you always make me look awful. Say cheese! All right then, but just one photo, okay? And make sure you get my good just side. Just move back a little bit. Like this? Uh, oh! oh, oh, oh. It's going to be a really good shot, boss. Are you having a nap now? Meanwhile, our friends were getting deeper and deeper into the enchanted forest. I have a feeling we're being watched. That's not possible. We're all alone here, Nico. Well, I still think we're being watched. Good. Now let's work. Let's see if there's an animal around here to hunt. Relax, boss. This is a vacation. So what? We might be on vacation, but my stomach certainly isn't. Well, I'm not eating this rubbish. It looks totally indigestible. Eureka! I think there's something here. What is it? What ah, is it, boss? A it rabbit? Is. A rabbit or a partridge? Ah, 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 ah. 
That'll teach you where to put your hands where they don't belong, cheeky. <laughs> That's what I said before, boss. Your hunting plans never work out right. It's guaranteed. I give up, Ugly. We've been wandering around this forest all day long, and we haven't seen any sign of Patty. Huh, it's all very strange. I just have the feeling she's somewhere here. Maybe very close. Right here, maybe. Warm, warm, ugly face, getting warm. Huh? huh? Do you know where she is? Well, yeah. In fact, as you say yourself, she's almost right in front of your nose. Yes, but where exactly? All I can see is trees everywhere. Mm, but what sort of trees are they? Well, um... Poor Patty, we arrived too late. Whose voice is that I hear? Is that you, Ugly? Have you come to save me? Did you get my message? Patty, you're still alive. Hold on a little, and we'll find a way to get you out of there. You can't get me out, Ugly. I'm not in the tree. I am the tree. The tree is me. With every minute which passes, the transformation is more complete. Soon I'll be nothing but a tree. Goodbye, Ugly. Oh, no. Patty, Patty, please keep talking to me. There has to be a way to break the evil spell somehow, Ugly. But that's impossible, Nico. Not if we find the one who casts the spell. You're right. Whoever made the magic can undo it again. We could separate, and each one looks in a different place. I'll go left. Leave me alone. No more photos, please. Oh, oh, the weasels. Haven't you taken enough photos already? Leave me alone. Come on, boss. One more. OK, just one more. You're too pale, boss. Put some makeup on, and then you'll look good in the photo. Makeup? That really is the limit. Get away with you, oh. idiot. Oh. Ouch! Now who's the who can throw it thing? Okay, boss, if you don't want a photo, huh? He's gone to sleep again. What a funny guy! And he said he was fed up being a tourist. I have to let Ugly know. Huh? Uh -huh. Ah! Ah! Oh! Meanwhile, Ugly was still tirelessly looking for the one who had bewitched his beloved Patty. Hello? Anybody at home? Hello? Until eventually, he found the castle. A castle? Maybe it's occupied. And the people inside know how to cast the spell. Hello? Anybody at home? This looks as if it's been in ruins for ages. Well, I think I'm out of luck. It's totally uninhabited. Who goes there? Huh? A witch? Who gave you permission to enter my castle, shorty? Nobody. The door was open, so I walked in. I'm sorry I disturbed you. How do you come here to rob something you didn't no. work? Well, if you're not a thief, why were you so frightened when you saw me, eh? Well, as I didn't hear you coming, it gave me a big shock. Ah, frightened of my face, huh? You're trying to tell me I'm ugly, aren't you? No, madam, certainly not. I'm much more ugly than you, and I'm not frightened when I see myself in the mirror. I'm used you're to it. You're lying. You're afraid of my face. I never lie, madam. Ah, oh, of course you lie. I hate liars. And the worst sort are the ones that say they don't lie. You'll have to be punished. I'm gonna turn you into a tree. Aha, so you must be the witch who turned my friend Patty into a tree. Witch? You called me a witch? How dare you, you insolent little shrimp. Just a moment, madam. If you go around casting spells on people, you must be a witch. Well, now you're going to see if I'm a witch or not. I came here to rescue Patty, the one who changed into a tree. Yes, you told me that already. And how are you going to break my spell? I asked you nicely, because you're the one who did it. Would you be so kind as to take off the spell? Just like that, huh? No, if you want me to take the spell off, you have to pass a test first. All right then, madam. Tell me what the test is, and I'll do my best to pass it. I've been in dangerous adventures before. The test for you is to spend the night in the enchanted forest and survive. Is that it? That's not to you. You've only seen the forest during the day, but no one has spent the night in the forest and ever come out alive. Oh! <laughs> How odd. It's as if someone was following me. Could it be the witch? Who goes there? 
Come on out, whoever you are, and don't be such a coward. Did you hear? All right, then, you asked for it. I'm going to come into those bushes and get you myself if you don't come out. Calm down. Don't hurt me. I'm only an old jester. Oh, yeah? Why are you lurking in the bushes and following me? A long time ago, I served the king who lived in that castle, and I know how to disenchant the forest. Oh, well, tell me. What do we have to do? I'll show you. Follow me. I live in a cave this way. Here's my place. Come in. I'd like you to meet a friend. Huh? My friend can help you pass the night in the enchanted forest. He knows all about these woods, even before they were enchanted, like now. Meanwhile, Nico was still searching around when he met some very strange animals. <laughs> And the animals took Nico away. Where? We'll find out later. Now, let's get back to Ugly, who was just about to meet the Jester's mysterious friend in the cave. And in fact, the Jester took Ugly inside the cave, and there... This is Silman, who used to be the protector of the Luminous Woods. Poor fellow, he looks very ill. And where's the luminous wood? That's what this enchanted forest used to be called. Back then it was very beautiful. Right, and has the transformation of the forest got something to do with the fact that your friend Anselmo is ill? His name is Silme, not Anselmo. You're right. The illness is connected with the changes which happened in the forest. You mean that if he was cured, the forest would be as well? Exactly. So why don't you take him to see a doctor? It would be useless. No doctor can cure what he's got. Maybe you could. Who, me? How could I do it? Just so you understand, let me tell you a story. To begin with, the ugly princess wasn't always the way she is now. You mean that witch is a princess? And she wasn't so ugly before? Because at the moment, she was the grumpiest old bag you could ever hope to meet. No, she's always been very ugly, but before she had a nicer character. She enchanted the forest as revenge for the death of her adoptive mother, a witch. <laughs> A little while after this, an evil spirit called Gazul turned up, and he started to cast spells as well. Every forest has a protecting spirit, and here it was Silver. But if Gazul wanted to take his place, of course he had to get rid of them. But it wasn't going to be easy, as there was a lot of benevolent magic in the woods in those days. Who dares to do it that? It was me! Yen, who are you? I'm Silmi, the protector of the forest, so just leave the forest creatures alone. But now I'm the protector. Not on your life. I know we'll see about that. A little later, the king's guards killed the witch who brought up the ugly princess. And she, to get revenge, cast a spell and changed them all into trees. So the luminous woods became dark and evil because of the princess's anger. And that was the opportunity that Kazul was waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> the forest will be mine! <laughs> you see, the prince's spell had given force to Gazul against Silme. Ever since then, the forest has been a sinister and dangerous place. Now I understand a lot more, but what do you want me to do? What's my role in the story? You see that candle over there next to Silmay's bed? Yes, of course. I can see it. So what? You have to keep it lit. Ah, uh, yes? And why's that? Is your friend afraid of the dark? When the candle dies, so will Silmay, and then all will be lost. All will be lost? What do you mean by all will be lost? If the protector of the luminous forest dies, the forest can never be like it was before. And all those who the princess bewitched by turning them into trees will stay here forever, including your friend Patty. And what do I have to do to stop the candle You going have out? to find more oil so that it keeps burning. Is any sort of oil okay? No, it has to be a special oil which comes from the flowers of a special tree which grows in the middle of the forest, the tree of wisdom. This tree grows in the place where the old witch died. And if I get the oil and we manage to keep the flame alive, what happens? Silme will get his strength back and will be able to defeat Gazul. And then he'll be able to bring enough magic together to restore the forest to its original state. Who knows, he could even manage to restore a little kindness to the ugly princess. But that might be more difficult. Her heart shriveled up ages ago. Okay, I'll go look for those flowers. Splendid, but watch out for the trees. 
As soon as the night falls, they're your worst enemy. <laughs> look, boss, look at that weird beastie eating berries. Hmm. Yes, it's a bit bizarre, isn't it? But as long as it's edible, I don't care. Let's go get it. <laughs> now I've got you, tasty morsel. How am I going to get it? Hey, do that bit again, boss, and I'll take a nice photo. A photo? What do you mean? Yeah! Perfect. Now that's a very good shot. But soon night fell in the forest, and things got even more sinister. Why don't we go back home now, boss? Aren't you the one who wanted to be a tourist? Yes, boss, but I'm tired now. So you'll just have to hold on. Anyway, we came here to hunt. But, boss, have you seen this forest? Yes, pretty grim, I know. It's more than grim, boss. It's sinister. What foolishness? You aren't superstitious, are no, you? No, but... So shut up and stop whining on and on, will ya? This place makes my hair stand on end. Over there, Polly. Hold on a bit, Silme. I'm sure Ugly will be back soon with the oil you need for your lamp. Really, Jester? That's what I hope, my dear old friend. If not, there's really no future for any of us. Meanwhile, Ugly was going into the dark forest, which, as the princess had told him, was very different from the daytime. trees and they stay here forever. <laughs> I am the lord and master of the forest and do as I wish. I can make its dwellers resuscitate like this. And I can take their life away again like this. In this forest I am the all powerful. Nothing and nobody can do anything against my magic. And I'm going to change you into a tree for daring to enter here insolent fool. Then you'll know who the great Gazool is. Oh really? I thought it was... The ugly princess who changed everybody into a tree. Ah, uh, maybe I was exaggerating a tiny bit. And why are you standing so far from the tree? You aren't afraid of its magic, Me you? afraid? You'll pay very dearly for that, you young rascal. So what you're telling me is that the magic of the tree and the princess is stronger than yours? Now you'll see how powerful my magic is. Get him, trees! He mustn't escape! And afterwards, bring him in front of me! Ah! Oh, yes, boss, I saw a tree moving. But of course, the wind made it move. No, boss, I thought it was alive. Don't be stupid. You were afraid, so you began to see visions. Now let go of my head. Come on, huh? It's been following us. Sure, because by the look of it, I wouldn't say that tree has been there for a hundred years. So stop telling these daft stories and get walking, scaredy cat. Fancy saying that trees can walk. I don't know. Let go of my hand, I said. Now I'm sure that tree really uh, did move. That one? That's just an old twisted trunk all dead and dry. Your imagination is working overtime. Don't say bad things about it, boss, or it'll start annoying us. I told you I saw it walking along. And I've just told you that trees don't walk, understand? They don't walk. It's just scientifically impossible for a tree to pull up its roots and walk. Clear now? Scientifically impossible, eh, boss? Well, come on, what's your explanation for this? And just about now, Nico woke up. Huh? Where am I? How did I get here? Who's that over there? Oh, goodness, what's that? What ugly creatures? Real monsters? Ah! I'm surrounded by ugly monsters and they're going to eat me. Help! Help! Well, actually, they seem calm enough. Aren't they going to eat me? That looks like a berry. So you're a vegetarian, are you? Thank God for that. I'm off the hook. Hey, boss, somebody's flying this way. 
I see my helpers have caught someone else. <laughs> what are you weasels doing in my forest? Answer me. We were just passing through, doing some sightseeing, and we saw this beautiful forest. Taurus, yeah? How would you like to be trees? You aren't able to turn anyone to a tree, Gazoo, but I am. Oh, well, in that case, I'll turn them into toads. Look at that ugly face, boss. She's so ugly. If they had an ugly face competition, she'd win. Oh, no. What? What did that insolent fool say? Shut up. Oh. Mm, I've never been so insulted. Listen, lady, you're not exactly the Mona Lisa, are you? Uh, no offense, of course. Run away. Left in the wood. The next one will be that cheeky duck as soon as you catch him, Gazool. What? A duck, you say? I've already met him, but he's not going to be easy to catch. Not easy. What's the problem? Don't mess around with me. You know I have a bad temper. Catch the duck unless you want to be a permanent fixture in my forest. Yes, princess. Ugly's been gone a long time. While he's under the tree of wisdom, he's safe from Gazool's magic. But as soon as he comes out in the open, he'll be in danger. And the oil is running low. Here I come! <laughs> <laughs> He can't stay in the shelter of the tree forever. And as soon as he comes out, my trees will catch him. Eh? Who's that? It's the duck! Attention all trees! After him! Hey, just a moment. Careful where you go. You are a pathetic little dwarf. It's obvious if I want a proper if I'm to make my own. Now watch an expert spell maker in action and learn something. That duck will get here on time. I don't know, but if he doesn't act fast, it's going to be much too late. <sighs> Thank you very much for bringing me to the cave, friends. There's no hope now. The enchanted trees must have caught the ugly duckling. He can't bring the oil for the lamp now. <sighs> and the flame is already beginning to die. Here I am. And I have the magic flower. How do we extract the oil? Give it to me. I know what to do. It's easy. I hope I'm in time. You've no idea how difficult By the skin of our teeth, but yes, you are in time. This is cool now. Yes, I can see. The flame is getting strong again. Getting more cool. Yes, sir. And feeling much better, too. Splendid. The genius is feeling better. All right now, Anselmo? Perfect. Oh, I'm soon made, not Anselmo. Now, if you don't mind, I have to go and save my forest. Don't forget to break the spell on As with his renewed magic powers, Sony was able to break Gazool's evil spells, which had turned the forest into such a sinister place. The flowers grew again, the sun shone between the branches, and the animals in the forest returned to their normal form. Oh, thank God for that! What a long rest! What's happening to the forest? It's oh. that innocent fool, Silmi! After all the effort I put into that spell, and now my magic doesn't work anymore. And now what's happening? I can't feel my legs, nor my hands either. be happening to me. Princess, give me back my magic. Princess, do some magic quickly or my powers will disappear forever. Too late. It won't stay like this. I'll get my powers back again. Oh, no, you won't. There's no black magic. You can return to where you came from. But I don't want to. It was very dark and foul smelling. I prefer to stay here and I'll stay. I'll stay. Please, poor spirit, don't hurt me. After what you did to my forest, now you ask for mercy. Wait. It wasn't all the princess's fault. In fact, her father is more to blame than she is. If he hadn't abandoned her when she was a baby, only because she was ugly, this would have never happened. The little duck is right. I was wrong to send my daughter off to the forest when she was a baby, just because she was ugly. Oh, you mean you're my father. Yes, daughter, and a very bad father, too. Will you ever be able to forgive me? Yes. My daughter. 
<laughs> it's a pity Patty can't see all of this. Is she still a tree? Don't be sad, Ugly. Look who's coming. Who? Oh, it's Patty! Ugly, ugly, ugly! Oh, Patty! Thank you for saving me, Ugly. I just love a happy ending. Yes, I like them too, you know. But the story doesn't end here. Don't forget about the weasels. Well, well, a cork tree. Oh, and now what's going on? Uh, ow, 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 hey! Ow, ow, oh dear, boss. You must ow, be the first person in history ow, to get a woodpecker ow, that was stuck in his eye. Ow, I always thought the boss had a wooden head. <laughs> so that's the end of the story of the enchanted forest with its living trees, which from that moment was once again called the Luminous Forest. And it was a beautiful, peaceful spot where people could stroll and look at the animals. And the princess? What happened to the ugly princess, Mitriani, huh? She was ugly for the rest of her life. But she lived in the castle with her father, the king, and she was very happy.